Kazimierz Twardowski Kazimierz Jerzy Skrzypna Twardowski was a Polish philosopher, logician, and rector of the Lwów University. Twardowski's family belonged to the Agonchik coat of arms. Twardowski studied philosophy in Vienna with Franz Brentano and Robert Zimmermann. In 1892 he received his doctorate with his dissertation, Ideuendi Perception, and in 1894 he presented his habilitation thesis, Zur Lehr vom Inhalt und Gegenstand der Vorstellung Gen. He originated many novel ideas related to metaphilosophy. He lectured in Vienna in the years 1894-95, then was appointed professor at Lwau. An outstanding lecturer, he was also a rector of the Lwau University during World War I. There Twardowski established the Lwau Warsaw School of Logic and also became the father of Polish logic, beginning the tradition of scientific philosophy in Poland. Among his students were the logicians Stanislaw Lesniewski, Jan Lukasiewicz and Tadeusz Czesowski, the historian of philosophy Olady Slaw Tatarkiewicz, the phenomenologist and aesthetician Roman in Garden, as well as philosophers close to the Vienna Circle such as Tadeusz Kotarbinski and Kazimierz Adjikiewicz. In his On the Content and Object of Presentations, Twardowski argues for a distinction between content and object in the frame of the theory of intentionality of his teacher Franz Brentano. According to him the mind is divided in two main areas, acts or mental phenomena, and a physical phenomenon. For example, an act of presentation is aimed at a presentation. This is what he called intentionality, aboutness. Every act is about something, but also every presentation goes together with an act of presentation. This theory suffers from the problem that it is not clear what the presentation exactly is. Is the presentation something only in the mind, or is it also in the world as object? Twardowski says that sometimes presentation is used for the object in the world and sometimes for the imminent content of a mental phenomena. Twardowski offers a solution for this problem and proposes to make a distinction between the content of a presentation and the object of a presentation. In his book Twardowski offers an analogy to clarify this distinction. He uses the example of a painting. People say of a landscape that it is painted, but also of a painting that it is painted. In the first case the word painting is used in a modifying way, while in the latter case the word painting is used in a qualitative or attributive way. Twardowski argues that presentations are similar. The content is the painted painting and the object is the painted landscape. The content resembles the present picture in one's mind, and the object the landscape. 